Good morning, my friends. It's Monday, June 10th. I'm back in Linville and I wanted to show you this garden. I learned something this yesterday about this tree, this beautiful Japanese maple. It has a stone underneath it that describes the beauty of friendship. And it was planted by a woman who lives here. She was here with one of her good friends named Julie. They were outside in the road and Julie was struck by a car and killed instantly. Her friend was obviously devastated and has had to learn to live without her. And in doing so, she decided to plant this tree outside the church in her memory. Planting a growing thing in memory of a loved one who has died is a beautiful act for it symbolizes the growth that will continue, both for the one who has gone on to eternal life, for there is much growth in eternal life, and for those left behind who will grow through their grief. For suffering does teach us as painful as it is. And so here we see this beautiful tree planted in memory of Julie. We continue this morning in the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus and the disciples are going along and there's a Canaanite woman who approaches them. Now Canaanites are pagans in Jesus's time and they were not considered human. The people of Israel were told basically to ignore them, um, not even really interact with them at all. But this woman keeps screaming out, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, my daughter is possessed by a demon. Jesus keeps ignoring her and ministering to the other Jews. But the disciples finally say, Lord, can you just tell her to go away? She's driving us crazy. Jesus said, I came to the house of Israel and I come only to give food to the children. How can I throw it to the dogs? Which is so insulting, but that's what he had been taught. And she says, yes, Lord, but even the dogs can eat the crumbs from under their master's table. She's brilliant. Jesus looks at her and he realizes who she is, that she is a child of God. He says, your faith has made you well, your daughter well. Your daughter will be healed and she's healed instantly. This woman broke down a barrier that Jesus had been taught. She showed him who she really was, her love of her daughter caused Jesus, even Jesus, to grow beyond what he had been taught as a boy and as a young man. For he too was human and had been taught certain rules and regulations, but she taught him how to expand those rules, how to break those boundaries. She taught him that love transcends all cultures and races and time itself. And there's nothing more powerful than a love of a mother for her child. So Jesus sees her and makes her daughter well. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the transformative power of love that reaches across time and space, bridging cultural divides, and even bridging death. We thank you for the love that binds us to one another. Increase in us our capacity to love. Help us move out of ourselves and into focusing on others, seeing them, and doing right by them. We ask you to bless the sick and suffering today, Lord, and all those who mourn. I will pause and let you speak aloud the names of people that are on your heart who need prayer.
Bring peace to this troubled world, Lord. Help us bridge divides and see one another as human and learn to love those that differ from us. Give us a wisdom to cherish this earth and learn from it. Learn how to replenish ourselves, how to recycle everything, how to live with great reverence, tenacity, and strength. All this we pray in the name of Jesus, your Son, who came to heal all of us. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.